A few of you wrote about your tradition of getting a Christmas wreath. I was never really a wreath person. Uh, thank you, Kyle, by the way. Every year we get our wreath from Kyle as he does his scouts thing, and we hang it up. Now we hang it up on our barn. Uh, it looks pretty darn cool, kind of country looking, but beautiful nonetheless. I have a dear friend who loves her Christmas wreaths, and her Christmas wreath will last up until probably August every year. It gets spray painted in new colors. It celebrates Easter and Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. But the wreath itself isn't anything all that spectacular, but it is a reminder. In the early church, instead of necessarily cutting down a tree and bringing it in your house, right, that's a much later thing that we do, they would take greenery, the branches, and weave them into a wreath. And they would place their Advent candles in a wreath of the greenery to remind them of the evergreen love of Jesus Christ. In this tradition, then, we started hanging wreaths on our doors and on the house. But you'll notice even our Advent candles at church are in greenery because it's a remembrance. And that circle is not uh, just coincidental either. The circle is, again, a reminder of that an, an unending love of Christ. I don't know how you celebrate with your wreaths, right? I know at church we have one around the candles. We have one out by the altar, and then we have a big one outside as well by the main entrance. The wreath is one of those symbols we think of that reminds us that it is Christmas. I think of the wreath in uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Story, uh, depending on your version you like, where it gets chucked at his nephew who comes to celebrate, to offer him a gift, a gift of love, a gift of remembrance of that. However you do your wreath, whether it's inside or out, with candles or not, I hope it serves as a reminder of that unending love of Christ, especially in this Christmas season. See you soon.